The Permisa lens I could take on any production, virtual or otherwise. I love Fuji's look. I like the sharpness and the contrast that they bring. And I, and I think that's gonna lend itself to virtual environments where you might have a really large dynamic range of things going on. We highly recommend the Fujinon Permista lenses. Uh, they by far are the nicest looking uh, zoom lenses and having four to six setups a day in virtual, you're outdoors, you're on a mountain, and then you're inside a grocery store. Having a lens that can cover lots of scenarios and the sharpness that we expect is, is a game changer for us. And cut. We're currently using the 28 to 100 Permista lens. And from a producer standpoint, it's wonderful because we don't have to recalibrate every prime we put on. This lens has been on all four days. It's gonna be on tomorrow. We're never gonna change the lens. So Nick, we're going to a 50 mil, uh, 50 mils on the lens. Here we go. Fujinon took a lot of care in creating this beautiful zoom lens that looks gorgeous and works perfectly with the virtual production environment. For a full frame lens, it has a perfect range for when you're in a studio and when you're on the virtual production because I haven't reached a point yet where I need to be wider or where I wish I had more reach. And so your speed and the rate at which you make the day is gonna be better because the focal lengths you gotta hit are already there. And you know the optical quality is there because you like the lens to begin with. These lenses also have the advanced Zeiss metrics. So you're able to take advantage of those metrics inside the game engine. We can basically plug into the lens and get that zoom focus and iris telemetry data into our data stream. All of the ways that lenses change the way we see the world, that information can be calculated in Unreal as well, assuming it has the data to use in the first place. The way that it gets that data is through the extended data port on the lens. Will you punch in tight as you can on a glass for a second? Today I was on an 80 at one point, and I was on a 35 at one point. All those things are happening quickly because it's a zoom lens. The optics are high quality. The lens handles uh, light being thrown at it really well, which is inherently gonna happen with virtual production and screens. So it just fills the void of what you need uh, that's all accessible immediately. Directors and DPs tend to be very creative people, have lots of ideas, a lot of last minute ideas. And you know we try our best to work at the speed of thought. And having uh, a single rig and not be changing primes out all the time saves a ton of time on production. You're in a creative sense trying to build something here and you don't want the technology to get in the way. The fact that we can keep these Fujinon lenses on the entire shoot, it's amazing. Not to mention they look just fantastic.